Hello all, welcome to the DNA Center plug and play video. In this video, we are going to look at the feature, uh, automation feature called plug and play or zero touch provisioning. So this is my topology, DNA Center as a controller. We have Fusion Cat 9300 device, which is uh, my C device. And then I have the uh, PNP device, which we are trying to onboard uh, without any uh, uh, provisioning. So let's take a look at the DNA center. So in this video, we are going to do a zero touch provisioning of a CAT 9300 device. At the same time, we are going to push uh, the day zero configuration or onboarding configuration, which is a base configuration, uh, consists of management IP address, SNMP credentials, very basic configuration. So let's take a look where we can define our template, day zero template design. Go to network profile. I have created a network profile, PNP net profile. It has a day zero onboarding template. I have named it as PNP onboard. If you want to uh, look at what is the content of template editor, we can check template editor. Go to onboarding template, onboard template. And this is my config, which we are going to push once the device is recognized into DNS center. Now let's go back and prepare the device for PNP. Click on provision. Under devices, you have the category called P plug and play. But before we uh, initiate the plug and play workflow, I would like to show you that we don't have the PNP device as a part of inventory yet. So we are going to create a plug and play workflow. Come to plug and play, click on add. Now it is asking for some information like what device you would like to onboard. There are a couple of methods you can onboard a device like a single device or maybe if you have bulk of devices to onboard, you can use the bulk device uh, option and upload a CSV file and uh, or otherwise you can link your smart account so that all the order devices uh, will be shown here. In this uh, video, we are going to onboard just one device. So I'm clicking on single device, paste the serial number, look for the product ID. You can do a quick search, cat 9300. This is my device. I'm going to name it PNP1. Add and claim. You have option to add the device and add and claim. So add and claim, ask for some more information and it will actually make it part of DNA inventory and assigned to the site so that the device is ready for if you are doing SDA or any uh, or assurance, the device will be ready for that. So I'm going to say add and claim and be ready to pro uh, provide some more information. Site, I would like to add it a part of site. Next, image. So the general rule is whenever the device is discovered for via PNP, DNA center look at the image of the discovered device and compare it with the golden image in DNS center. If it is not same, then it will go ahead and do a image upgrade. So that's the general rule, but you can always have an option to skip that process. So I'm going to skip the golden image upgrade and I, I, I'll do it separately. Template, since we want to push a day zero template, this is my template, PNP on board. Look for the devices, select devices, fill out provisioning parameter. So this is my device. And so this is, you can see that this is a variable. So if you are uploading multiple uh, devices, you can actually variableize some parameter like the IP address or a host name. But since we have just one device, I'm not uh, worried about this. Go to the next and it is giving you all the information, device detail, image detail, whatever you uh, chose, like a summary, and then it's ready. So the workflow is ready. You can see the workflow state is planned and source is user. That means it's a user created workflow. Last contact, this is something of interest. So you have to see that the device has not contacted the DNAC. Also, I would like to include onboard state so that 
in uh, later stages we can verify how it is progressing from non contacted to provision state so now time to reload uh, the edge device you have to do a clean re uh, reboot that means there should be no certificate uh, or, or a crypto key should be available there we have our pnp workflow configured on dnac let's go take a look at the device itself so first we're going to see the fusion device which is my seed device and you can see that vlan interface vlan 1 is configured for pnp this is my subnet and my help, ip helper address which is pointing to my ipam infoblox ipam dscp server and infoblox ipam dscp server has this subnet defined with option 43 which is pointing to my dnac for more information please look at the dnac and infoblox integration video on my channel and gigabit 1048 connected to the pnp switch part of vlan 1 so that's the minimal config you need to do on C, C device for PNP this is my PNP switch we need to reset the uh, factory reset this switch that mean there should not be any uh, startup configuration there should not be any kind of certificate or any previous PNP related config so I'm just going to clearly uh, quickly going to clear those configuration I don't have anything as such but still I would like to clear them delete any flash resi residue of PNP and then just go ahead and reload the switch say no confirm reload and now I'm going to pause the video I don't want you to stare at the screen uh, I'm watching device to reload the status is moved to onboarding so there is a sequence of steps and since we have done add plus claim status should go to provision state eventually it just take a little bit of time so I'm, I'll pause the video again now you can see since the device is discovered the configuration is also pushed to the device it has taken a bit of time but finally the device is the uh, configuration is there PNP console 0 now and is available you can see I we have got the IP address on our VLAN 1 interface and also we have the configuration day 0 configuration what we specified is also pushed to the device you can see the some DNAC has pushed some certificates like chain PNP level PNP and all those things so now the since we have IP address assigned on management interface I can SSH to the device and put the required configuration like BGP or ISIS whatever kind of configuration I need I can put that but in my case right now gig 0 by 0 is not connected so I, I just need to connect it and then start doing the further configuration let's to take a look at the DNAC process flow so here is what happened you can see our flow started here 421 device is discovered securing device secure device and if you click on those infos it actually give you what it is doing here some are very basic but some you can see like day zero config requested device detail on which device it is working and uh, all those things so config generated this is what you would like to see okay so and also we have configuration we skip the image upgrade so no image upgrade we push the template this is the template we push so everything you can get it from here.